Ladies and gentlemen, it is new figure day on Pokemon Duel. I'm going to see if I can fix this music assist. Music thing, because for some reason it always mutes. It's not going to work. Still got the sound effects there. I don't get it. I don't get why it does this on, um, on this video recording. Bear with me. It's going to be a bit flat in this feature duel. I'm going to, I'm going to show a couple actually, because there's a couple of, uh, decks in the in the new figure feature duel that showcase quite a few new figures um which is pretty cool so this one here w astro vs mckeel we got a tyranitar to mega tyranitar uh agron to mega agron terrakion with its with its uh buff a uh, shiny rayquaza a shaman and a sky shaman which also has a, a land shaman assigned to it up against the uh, Vibrava, Lunala, Celesteela, Zapdos, Tapu Koko, and Feromosa. Hey, the music's back! Sensational. That is good news. But the sound effects are gone. I don't get it. Can't win. Let's go. It will be Sky Shaman to the bottom right corner. So, bottom right point, Zapdos to the top right point for red. It will be Sky Shaman retreating to the goal. And Vibrava will come into the top left point. Blue will bring out Shiny Ray Gray to the bottom left point. And Tabu Koko to the bridge, the shuttle trap spot. Here comes Agron to the bottom right point. Getting that uh, MP boost thanks to Shaman. Uh, Celesteel at the top left entry point, Shaman, Sky Shaman that is, moves up to the bridge. Celesteel taking a walk across the back line, one step, here comes Tyranitar with that 2 MP off the bench. Uh, Lunala into the corner, I think maybe this will bring back Charizard as well, the Sky Shaman. Terrakion coming up the right lane, Celesteel another slow step, now to the T intersection. Shaman onto the right entry point getting some uh, permanent mega evolution if they go that way. Stony Sphere onto Agron. Celesteel has moved onto the goal, by the way. Celesteel is still moving across, so he's taken one, two, three, four, four, five steps from the left entry point where he started. He's going to end up on the other entry point soon. Uh, Tyranitar goes mega and steps onto the entry point. Celesteela takes another step. Terrakion takes a step up the right lane. Here comes Celesteela to the top right entry point. It will be Terrakion taking a crack at um, Celesteela. This Terrakion hasn't been, um, hasn't had his wheel adjusted since the boost. He's got massive miss wedges and knocked out by the flame gun. Celesteela steps down the right lane now. Uh, Mega Tyranitar steps towards goal. And his Mega Evolution is run down to one and it will stay at one until either it's knocked out or Shaman is moved or knocked out. Celesteela now attacking the land Shaman. It is fly on healing for Lowers. Uh, Tide Stars and Shaman is going to have a crack back. Gets Synthesis into the Rendezvous. There goes Celesteela. Shiny Ray Ray will keep his land hedgehog on the board. Lunala hops over the Brava but doesn't attack the Shiny Ray Ray. Here comes Tyranitar across the bottom line to back towards the left entry point. Sitting on that one in one in I don't know one um one mega turn left, I guess that's what it's called. Ty uh, Terrakion with the um, revive, attacking Feromosa gets the stone edge, the boosted stone edge, thanks to Ty mega Tyranitar, um, into doesn't really know, I think it, it, it must have been a miss because he, he wasn't frozen in him. Ray Ray is going to fly against Lunala, but Lunala's ability keeps him grounded. Here comes Terrakion up the left lane. Step away from the entry point now. Max Revive is going to be Feromosa. Comes two steps off the left lane. Going to entice that Terrakion, and he does. He takes the bait. 
Is he going to Tapu Koko surround? No, he's going to go for the entry point with Lunala. Lunala's going to attack. Um, Ray Ray gets in. Shiny Ray Ray, that is. And gets him with the Will O Wisp into a miss. That's unlucky. For Ray Ray, that is. Gets the Mountain Topple. Knocks out Lunala. Everyone spins and Ferramosa lands blue, so he'll be knocked out as well. Here comes Vibrava stepping up to Shining Ray Ray, he's going to attack. That's a little bit crazy, yeah. Extreme Speed gets the Screech, no worries. Uh, Vibrava goes, it will be Ray Ray going on the 2, two MP attack thanks to Sky Shaman. And then he misses because of the burn and gets knocked out by a Tapu Koko. Come on. Lunala across the back line from the right entry point. It will be Mega T up to the bottom left point of the square. And Lunala will move across to the goal. Mega Terrakion does, yes, over at Tapu Koko. It will be a crunch, which goes from 17 to 90 into the Bella Bella Wish. Um, Tapu Koko, because it's um, fairy, goes back to the bench. Because of, I think it's Agron's ability, maybe? I can't remember. One of the abilities does that. Anyway, Lunala attacks and knocks out um, Terrakion. Uh, Mega Terrakion. He'll stay Mega because it's a move to the PC because of the Moon Geist Beam, not actually a, a knockout. So he will continue on his merry way as Mega Terrakion. Lunala to the top left point. He's got a big advantage against Terrakion. Especially with that, um, with the boost. However, with the uh, Mega Terrakion uh, boost for Rock Types. Rock type? Steel type. Rock type. Yeah, rock type. Uh, Terrakion to the top left point. Tapu Koko to the bridge. Terrakion is going to attack said Koko. And it's crunch into the melee, melee wish. And back to the bench he goes. I'm going to have to look up the abilities because I can't remember whose ability that is. Let me know if you know. Fermosa in from the right lane. One step away from the goal. Uh, Ter Mega Terrakion is having a crack at Zapdos, but he lands Crunch for like the third spin in a row. He lands his weakest attack, which is a fairly significant weakness for a Mega, and he's knocked out. Tapu Koko, back to the bridge again. Here comes Sky Shaman, going at um, Tapu Tapu, and it's Dazzling Green into the... Um, Melon and the Wish again. No action. Fair Mercer sure. onto the goal point now. It will be Terrakion going at Fair Mercer. Sure. This is just about this for the win almost. Um, Stone Edge into the Ice Beam. That's going to slow things down a bit. Terrakion's frozen. Fair Mercer sure is knocked out. Tapu Koko retreats to the goal. Doesn't attack Terrakion. I don't understand the decision. My only conclusion is that. Uh, he was worried he'd spin blue and um, unfreeze him for no advantage and then he'd be at a weakness to Terrakia. Vibrava comes in from the right lane to offer a bit of support. Um, heavy slam from Agron into the thunder charge of Zappy Dox. Agron's now within range for a 2 and 2 as well, so if Zapdos moves, which he does, he's going to switch over to the other side and paralyze Sky Shaman. Uh, Terrakion and his own Tapu Koko. Agron goes to the entry point and is stopped by the Vibrava's vibrating wings. Zapdos goes for a run to the bottom left point. And Terrakion's going for broke. Relying on the big misses and lower attacks and fails. Spins a miss into the wild charge and that will just about be duel over. Shaman doesn't have a hope against Zappy. Zapdos moves within one step of goal. And it will have to be Land Shaman having a crack with his massive purple wedges against that big gold wedge. Lands the seed, flare into the thunder crash. 
Lance Damon is sent back to his hole, and Zapdos will take the goal. Game over in 67 moves. A good exhibition of some new figures, and we appreciate the work of Astro for putting that um, deck together to showcase these figures for us. It's very useful. Um, no doubt he's giving, giving himself a bit of a crack with them. This is what I wanted to see. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Shaman in a poison deck. Because his ability is goal, well not his ability, his passive ability with the uh, with his attack. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, this is what I want to see. Sea Flare. If there are any poisoned and or noxious Pokemon, this damage is multiplied by the number of those Pokemon. Remove the poisoned noxious conditions from the Pokemon. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a um, black and white. So it's uh, it's good in that um, it gets the multiplication. If you get, you know, even two, all of a sudden that's 100. In this guy's case, 122. If you get three, it's up to 180. That's big hitting right there. Excuse me my, while I move my face around so I can press buttons. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably look at that one now. Um, I'm not sure how successful that duel will be because he's up against a rush deck. Um, I'll come back to it. There's a deli bird. There's a deli bird. Yeah, that wins. I'm sorry. Uh, we've got Altaria to Mega. We've got Tapu Fini times two. Shaman Lamb into Shaman Sky. Um, Shiny Ray Ray and Noi Bat into Noi Burn. Up against a deli bird. Level 10 and chain level 10 deli bird. Uh, with a, a Shaman Lamb to Sky. A Jupiter through to Mega to uh, Tyranitar. A Zorok. Zap, uh, excuse me, Shiny Ray Ray, Shiny um, Ray Plaza, Altaria to Mega, so a couple of a couple of overlaps, in fact three overlaps. I feel like with um, with Sky Shaman, that um, that uh, Shiny Ray Ray is going to get a whole lot more airplay because of his um, counter Ultra Beast ability. Um, preventing your own figures from being sent to the Ultra Space, it's going to be pretty gold. Um, combine that with a Relicanth. Relicanth can't be excluded, that's his ability. It, it's a little bit unique, but yeah. Alright, we've got Noibat coming across from the right, Pupitar to the bridge, and now Tapu Finni to the bottom right point, and he's going to give it a crack. Gets the bite into muddy water, that's no good. He's going to force the respin to this. How about that? And he'll get the evolution. There you go. He didn't evolve. Oh, yes, he did. Oh, geez. The, the graphics just lagged a bit for a second there. Um, Tapu Fini into the bottom right point. Shiny Ray Quasar to the top left entry point. Noi Bat is going to block the goal. He needs a crack at Tyranitar. He's got a very good chance against Tyranitar. Here comes Delibird to the top right point. He's like, I don't understand. We'll find out what his plan is with Delibird. Uh, Shaman into his spot on the top left point. Here comes Shiny Ray Ray for blue. Altaria from the top right point. Tapu Finney dives in on the left lane. And Tyranitar is having a crack at um, Tabby Finney, and he excludes himself um, and gets rid of that was Altaria that he got rid of uh, Land Shaman to the bottom right point here comes Zorok down the right lane, here comes Tabby Finney is he going to attack? no he doesn't, but he's set up well there because if he can knock him off his spot here comes Noibat he's just going to block Zorok it'll be Mega Tyranitar now um, he's got his Shaman in position. He's going to attack the, his opponent, his opposing Shaman. It's healing flowers into the rock storm. There's no one in the PC, so that's not going to do anything. Altaria is going to block the goal. Mega Tyranitar going at land Shaman again. And Synthesis. That's a, it's a cool little attack that came out with um, uh, Fromantis. Uh, 
Tapu Finny on the same, and he gets the Muddy Water, so he'll knock him off the entry point. Um, that's gonna... It's not. He didn't move. What happened? Come and tell me what happened. Mega Tyranitar knocked out Shaman. Why didn't he move? Someone tell me why he didn't move. Well win. Massive advantage. Too much white to deal with a, a predominantly purple red. Noibet's gonna get the evolution of the Noise Burn. And Noise Burn is, is very good, especially when it's um when it gets the evolution. It's a lot more useful these days. And Zorok into the entry point. Noivern is gonna retreat next to his Altaria. It's gonna be Delibird on the attack to the bottom right corner. Tapu Finny is gonna jump and is within reach of goal and it's a forfeit win. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't even get to see Delibird do anything. It's a bit boring. Alright. Which figure prevents movement? Um, I don't know. I gotta look at Deli Bird. Oh, that's why he's got Deli Bird. Okay, that makes sense. The present's not bad either. Really. That blue is just, you know, and there's so much miss. It's a level 10 as well. It's got, still got 28 points of miss at level 10. Surely that isn't there. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, two duels. I know it's been a bit long, so I appreciate the time. Have a good night.